that are on the line and in service with us tonight, even though you didn't greet by opening up the service. Thank you for joining in with us to all of the fellowship of pastors and churches. We want to keep each one in prayer. We're just so grateful to hear from our son, Pastor uh, Jacque Folks there in, in Atlanta. We're so happy that God has taken care of him for several months during that hurricane and brought him back home. He's back on the air. He's delivering the word again, and God got great things in store for him. So thank all of you for your participation, for your joining in the service tonight. Don't forget to mute your phone. Uh, if you get happy and start shouting and, and just praising God right where you're at, I really expect that to happen. I really expect us to surrender to the authority of God that he may bless us even the more. So thank you so much. And we look for the Lord on behalf of the condition of this world, the state of the mind of the peoples and those that are sick and shut in. Father, we thank you tonight and we give you all honor and praise in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. God, we yet believe, no matter what is going on and what is taking place in the time that we're in, in the world system that we're having to deal with, we yet believe. We believe that you are in authority. We believe that you're in control. We believe nothing escaped the eyes of the Lord. You know all of our heart, and we thank you and ask that you are blessed tonight, healed tonight, Deliver tonight. Touch somebody on this line tonight that we'll all want to do better and hold on a little while longer. In Jesus' name, amen, and thank God. Amen. On behalf of Sister Morgan and I, the entire body of Father, Son, Holy Ghost Church, we again thank you for your faithfulness, for your willingness to live holy, for your willingness to walk in obedience, for your willingness to Love the Lord more than these. And we want to pick up on part two of a teaching that we started a couple of Wednesday nights ago. And I hope you're not uh, tired or don't appreciate leftovers. Let me tell you, leftovers are all right when they're heated up by the Holy Ghost. They're not overcooked, over scotched. They're just warm just right. And it have had time to just Soak in, and it will taste good to us tonight if we're hungry and thirsty for righteousness. Uh, we're coming back again to finish, hopefully, uh, from Colossians, the second chapter, and we shall be reading the verse 6 through verse 10 in just a moment, and uh, we'll give you time to get Colossians, the second chapter, verses 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. And I noticed in our Sunday school lesson, the first quarter all the way to uh, this present time that we're in is dealing with Paul is coming from Ephesians. The word is to the church. The word is to the saints. And God really is speaking to the church, to the saints, that if we would heed and hear his voice, then he would remind us and let us know not to get focused on this world, but stay focused on the harvest. Oh, my God, this is harvest time. My God, the world is getting tired. Uh, they don't know what to do, but the church have the answer. The preachers have the answer as long as God can trust us to do his good pleasure. And the people's of the harvest. We don't want to stress out and try to uh, get harvest and lose the harvest we got. We must preserve the harvest that we got. We must preserve the saints. We must focus on the saints. We must maintain a quality of trust, a quality of love, a quality of being qualified to uphold the body of Christ and edify where we would stand the test in spite of what goes on because we know that God is with us. Just to know that God is with us, 
My God, we are more than those that are against us. We are more than conquerors. We can take back, not necessarily we ourselves, but just because we are with God and God is with us, he does our fighting. My God, he defeat every battle for us. Glory be to God. And so we come tonight from Colossians second chapter, verses six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. In this chapter, in this verse, we will find that God is encouraging us to stand firm in these times that we're in, and it is encouraging us from the text the qualification of a witness. The qualification of a witness. Amen. And here the writer encouraged the church, the saints there at Colossia, as ye have therefore received Christ, Jesus the Lord, so walk ye in him. Rooted and built up in him and established in the faith. Saint, we're in time where we're going to have to be rooted deep. Our root going to have to be deep and built up in him, and we're going to have to be established mm -hmm. in the faith. Don't let nothing shake your faith in God, no matter what it looks like. Keep your faith in God. As ye have been taught, abounding therein with thanksgiving. Beware, lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit, after the tradition of men, after the rutman of the world, and not after Christ. For in him dwells all the fullness of the Godhead body, and ye are complete in him, which is the head of all principalities and power. In Christ Jesus, Paul was encouraging the saints. That's what completes us. Once we are born again and accept Christ for our personal Savior, we got all that we need. Hallelujah. We got all that we need. One songwriter composed a song. Uh, I got all that I need. I found it in the Lord. All that we need, you'll find it in the Lord. So here the writers encouraging the church to beware, to beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit. After the tradition of men, after the rutman of the world, and not after Christ. We got to be wise. We got to be anchored deep in Christ, in the word, and in our faith in Christ Jesus. You know, I want to say this. I pray and hope that no one would take offense to this, but this is really true with me. Uh, I've been in the ministry preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ since 1979, a total between preaching the gospel and pastoring for 44 years. And the first few years of my calling and preaching the gospel, it was excited. It was fun. It was just beautiful to see the saints. You preach about Jesus. You you preach about holiness. You preach about law and mercy. You preach about faith. You preach about living right. That would be an excitement. That was that was that was an excitement within the excitement to hear it being preached about holiness and living right and and being aware of false prophet and false teachers. That was always an amen and a hallelujah. When you preach this kind of gospel that Paul preached and what we was taught in holiness at Father, Son, and Holy Ghost Church. But after 44 years, I must confess, as I said 
in the fellowship with the Lord, even today and now. It is getting harder and harder to preach to the church, to preach to the saints, things that we once used to be excited about. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. It doesn't excite us anymore. And I hope tonight I can encourage you that we don't get tied up in the tradition of men and the rutment of this world and not after Christ. It is getting hard to preach, even in Pentecostal holiness, because there are too many getting tied up in the things of this world, the pleasure of this world. There are too many getting tied up being spoiled by vain words and deception, being deceived by philosophers, being deceived by those that got a higher learning and a deep anointing of themselves that separate people from God, pulls them away from God. So I encourage us tonight with that little note that we would find ourselves, those that have remained and stayed the course, stay rooted in the word of God, stay rooted in righteousness and holiness. Let us stay rooted together. I pray tonight that you will understand I am not unappreciative of all the fellowship of pastors and churches, all the ministry staff of Father, Son, Holy Ghost Church. I am blessed to be affiliated with men and women that love the Lord and been called by God. But I have to just preach to us, as Paul did, wherever the Lord is blessing, whoever the Lord is blessing, the devil go to messing. It's just some people don't like to see people free, able to live a life of holiness, able to live without being confused. It's just some people don't like to see people happy. Glory be to God. And I encourage us tonight that we will get a hold of what I am trying to present to us. I don't know what he had. I am not accusing no one in the midst of us of being what Paul is encouraging the church there in Colossians, the saints there. I'm just telling you, just like Paul said to them, beware. It is my responsibility as preachers, as pastors, to be on the wall and warn you, glory be to God. I hear the sound of those that not preaching holiness like they used to. I hear the sound of those that are making noise. Glory be to God. I hear the sound of those that are prophesying, but nothing come to pass. I hear the sound of those crying holy, but they won't live it. I don't know where they're at, but I pray that it's not among us. But if it do, glory be to God. God will reveal it because God loves his people. God loves his people. God loves his people. He has always fought the battle. And that's the unique part about being a pastor, being a minister of the Lord, as Paul were. He taught the people. He didn't fight the people. Glory be to God. He taught them and encouraged them to be rooted and built up in him, in Jesus, and establish in the faith as ye have been taught. We've been taught, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost Church family. We've been taught how to watch out for those that come in the midst of us. We've been taught how to watch out for false teachers and false prophets. We've been taught how to live holy. We've been taught how to love one another. But what sometimes is so damaging, what if somebody take on that same spirit of those out young and try to work it in the body? If we're to beware of those over yonder that are not building their peoples up and not 
walking in oneness, not walking in submissive, and not walking in obedience to God, and and walking in their flesh, and doing things that were causing schism in the body. I am to encourage you to beware. Glory be to God. And we just want to encourage us tonight. And in order to do that, you got to pay attention to who's qualified and who have the qualification of being a witness for Jesus Christ. Amen. Everybody talk about Jesus, everybody preach about Jesus, may not be his witness that he has qualified and have the qualifications of his witness. So Paul, again, uh, is writing to the church of Colossia after Ephesus, who had been converted by Paul. And, and that's, that's my conversation to us, Father, Son, Holy Ghost, Church family. Many of you will hear me mentioning some of us mention about our founder, Bishop John Sidney Baker, who God chose to establish and write the name Father, Son, and Holy Ghost Church of God and establish God ministry through him. Now, many of you may not know Bishop Baker, may not have had the opportunity to sit under the founder and hear him teach us about the Bible, hear him teach us about holiness and how to forgive. Many of you didn't know that, but here Paul is encouraging the one who had been converted under him. And that's all I'm saying now. In 44 years, I know some of you have been converted under me. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And here he comes to Paul, and he visits him at Rome, and he comes to report to Paul his concern about the philosophers, mm -hmm. if you will, being and the philosophy that being taught in the church, that Paul had converted him to the Lord and, and sent him over the church that was established there at Colossia. He didn't fail to communicate with the one that led him to the Lord. And it does concern me. Glory be to God. It does concern me that we who have been in Father, Son, and Holy Ghost Church, and I'm encouraging us, don't let some things not concern us anymore. When things are going on in the body of Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, that's not lining up with the founder, not lining up with the bishop, not lining up with the pastor. And things seem to be going different, if you will, and damaging to the people, to the flock. I pray that we would be concerned enough to talk it over with the leader. My God, concern about what would hurt the flock. Concern about things that are being taught in the church that deviate us from Christ, deviate us from the teaching about holiness. And we're living in a time where false teachers was encouraging the Colossian saints to seek another kind or a high knowledge and observe certain regulation holidays, if you will. And this is what Paul was encouraging us, that we need to be rooted and grounded in our faith, that if we are born again, Sister Morgan, if we have been born again and have the baptism in the Holy Ghost and have accepted Jesus for our personal Savior and he have qualified us to be saints. Glory be to God. We all not to want nothing else because I just read to you, everything we need is in Christ Jesus. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. My God. If his richness is in Christ Jesus, if his knowledge is in Christ Jesus, I know it is because 
The scriptures say, seek ye first the kingdom of God, and all these things will be added unto you. Seek ye first the kingdom of God, not riches and things first, but the kingdom of God, which is not meat and drink, but peace, joy, and the Holy Ghost. Mm -hmm. And that's why I said earlier, glory be to God. I've seen a likeness after 44 years in Father, Son, and Holy Ghost Church alone. There is a likeness of seeking God for his kingdom. Mm -hmm. Glory be to God. We are losing our hunger and thirst for righteousness. And our peace and joy in the Holy Ghost is ceasing because we're going after those things of the world. Yes. We want them first. But God said, if you seek my kingdom, then all my righteousness, all these things will be added to you. Yes. Glory be to God. And so we're encouraging you tonight, especially the body, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost Church, and those that are listening, those that fellowship with us, if we come into compliance and bring ourselves back to God, there's a year of jubilee this year. Glory be to God. There's a Congress that's taking place this year. Glory be to God. If the sick can hold on a little longer, yes, Lord. if the downtrodden can hold on a little longer, yes. if those that are bruised can hold on a little longer, if those that are lacking in intelligence and knowledge and will hold on a little longer, yes, Lord. this year there's going to be an outpouring mm -hmm. of the Holy Ghost. Glory. There's going to be an outpouring of healing. Mm -hmm. But God will not work these things through unqualified people. And he won't work them through the qualified where it brings on division and fighting. Glory. But when we all get with one accord, oh, God, help me. I can't even finish part two. But if we get with one accord instead of on one accord, that's why we can't move because we're standing on the cord. Glory be to God. God is pulling up, but we're just standing there. But if we get with one accord, things flow easy. Glory. Our prayers flow easy. Healing flow easy. Truth flow easy. The anointing flow easy. Praise flow easy. Yes. Can you hear me tonight? Hallelujah. Glory be to God. <laughs> Glory be to God. Everything flow easy when we get with one accord. Yes, Lord. The preachers get with one accord. The deacon get with one accord. The singers get with one accord. My God, hallelujah. When we get with one accord, God looks down and smile on us, and he completes us. Glory be to God. He completes us. Glory be to God to let us know he got all power. Oh, my God. A principality and power. Glory be to God. So the false teachers was teaching the people and encouraging them to seek some kind of high knowledge mm -hmm. and observe certain regulations. Because yes, we as saints are already complete in Christ Jesus yes. with the Holy Ghost. Yes. Somebody said the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. Glory be to God. The Holy Ghost. Mm. Glory. Where can we go to buy joy? Jesus. Where can we go to buy peace? Where can we go to buy healing? Where can we go to buy deliverance? Yes. Oh, my God. Deliverance is worth more than silver and gold. Yes. What good is to have plenty of riches and gold mm -hmm. and bound in your spirit? Yes, Lord. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. The lost our joy to praise God. Mm -hmm. My God. I remember, Sister Morgan, mm -hmm. we still, there are those, I'm not saying everybody stop praising God. But I can remember in Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, Pentecost, the whole in the church, when one praised God, that would be a spirit hit though. That'd yes. be dancing all over the church. Yes. That's why we incorporated the name, them holy rollers. Glory, glory. Now, my God, hallelujah. Yes, my God, hallelujah. Jesus. That's why we incorporated the, the tower. When one danced, they all danced. Yes, glory be to God. Because we were with one accord. Mm. We could hear the Spirit of the Lord, yes, Lord. saying the same thing. Mm. We could hear the same voice of the Lord when he spoke in the Spirit, said, praise ye the Lord. Yes, Lord. Everybody.
God is not praising. Mm-hmm. Glory be to God. But we're living in a time Thank you, Father. where even in Pentecostal holiness, yes, when the spirit of praise come in, and there are those that praise him, and there are those that look around saying, it don't take all that. Yes. Well, I tell you, there's a time coming. Glory be to God. Even now, well, there's going to be a fresh praise come back in the house of God. Yes, Lord. In Father, Son, Holy Ghost mm-hmm. Church. Glory be to God. And I encourage the body of Father, Son, Holy Ghost Church as we move on. Encourage the saint not to be bound, mm-hmm. not to bind ourselves yes, to this world, legalism, mm-hmm. and regulation. Glory be to God. God gave me a, a few years ago to preach from Galatians 5 and 1 mm-hmm. that the saints was being encouraged through Paul's letter to stand, therefore stand, and preach from the text, our liberty mm-hmm. is being threatened by legalism. Mm-hmm. Yes. My God. The church used to could preach boldly mm-hmm. against sin. Yes, Sister Morgan, we could preach boldly yes. against sin. We wasn't shouting over sin, but the boldness of the preachers preaching against sin, when one would say homosexual is a sin, yes. the saint would say, yes, it is. Yes. Glory. We was agreeing with the gospel. Yes, Adultery is a sin. The saint would clap their hands. Yes, but, oh, my God, legalism has made it to the point to where our liberty is threatened, even preaching the gospel. Yes. The law is almost saying to the church, yes. I hear it in the atmosphere that is coming where we would be threatened to even preach the gospel. Mm-hmm. So you better get it down in your heart. You better hide the word like David said, down in my heart yes, Lord. that I won't sin against thee. Yes, Put it deep down in your heart. <laughs> Glory be to God. Mm-hmm. That if you wake up in the morning mm-hmm. and all your money gone, yes. wake up in the morning, yes, Lord. your house is gone, Jesus. wake up in the morning, you're homeless overnight. Glory be to God. Wake up in the morning, you got money and can't buy. Will we still have a praise? Mm-hmm. Glory be to God. Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm excited in God because all I need mm-hmm. is in the Lord. He will provide. Yes, Lord. He's the same God was at Goshen. Yes. Oh, God, hallelujah. Put your trust, keep your trust, your faith in God. Yes, Lord. He's the same God was at Goshen mm. when all was falling apart. No food. Hallelujah. Jesus. People died. Yes, but Goshen was still praising the Lord because the presence of the Lord was there. Yes. Saints, I plead with us. Preachers, I plead with us. Saints of God, I plead with us. That Father, Son, and Holy Ghost Church, let us get qualified, mm. my God, to be his witness Boy, his presence will stay with us. Yes, Lord. His presence was with the Israelites. Mm. Cloud by day, fire by night. Yes. Where the presence of the Lord is, glory be to God. It's going to be some peace. Mm-hmm. Oh, let me get along here, baby. Let me get along. I hope we're being heard tonight yes, to the glory of God. And when we talk about being qualified, glory be to God. It is, you must put off the quality mm-hmm. of the world. Mm-hmm. We cannot serve God in this world. We're going to have to let one go. We're going to have to be totally sold out to God or totally given to the world. They two don't go together. I know it don't go together because he said, be in the world to the qualified one to the Holy Ghost field one, to the preachers that have been called by God and chosen by God, to the saints that have been filled with the Holy Ghost. He said, be in the world, but not of the world. Glory be to God. Don't act like ungodly people. My God, don't act like ungodly people that don't know there's a God. Ungodly people don't fight leadership. I mean, godly people don't fight leadership. Godly people walk in obedience, not to a natural man, but to the man of God that's in the man. 
Glory be to God. As Pastor Page said on Sunday, we walk with the yes man of God because we are yes God people. Yes, Lord. Glory be to God. Yes, I'll obey. Yes, I'll be obedient. Yes, I'll submit to authority. Yes, I'll praise God because I'm a yes man. Yes, yes, I will love my wife like Christ loved the church. Yes, I will submit to my husband as unto the Lord. Yes, his yes, his yes. And my answer was still be yes to the Lord. Hallelujah. So we're talking about the qualification of a witness. Just because we preach the Bible doesn't mean we're qualified. Glory be to God. Just because we sing hymns and songs doesn't mean we're qualified. Glory be to God. Maybe we prophesy. Maybe we have the, the, the gift of designing, the gift of healing. But that doesn't mean we're qualified. Because if we do anything in the name of the Lord of ourselves that we get to praise, it unqualifies us. God must get all of the praise, all of the glory. Who am I talking to tonight other than myself? He must get all of the glory. Glory be to God. To the glory of God. Qualifications, one that eligible for a mission with experience or knowledge for the job. We got too many unexperienced people trying to do the God will that we're talking about, trying to witness to the Lord. They witness how good God is in one setting. In the next setting, they seem like the God they witness to, he don't exist no more. If we going to witness that he's holy in the house of prayer, we got to witness that he's holy down the street, yes. in the marketplace. Yes. If we're going to live whole on Sunday morning, we got to live it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday again. Yes, oh, I wish I could get some help here. Yes. Glory be to God. We got too many people don't have experience. Mm. And I think it, it's, I can't remember what scripture it is, but it's in there. Just as we, as God, men and women, are not supposed to put people as a novelty in office. Mm -hmm. We're not supposed to put people in a position of witness for the Lord, mm -hmm. unqualified. And a novice mm -hmm. is not is one who don't have the experience, mm -hmm. has not been approved. Mm -hmm. Now, man can approve you mm -hmm. if you sound good, talk good, yes. and, and and know philosophy and. Mm -hmm. And, and and it's all about you and got the knowledge and the tradition of men, yes, man can put you in a position. Mm -hmm. But that doesn't mean God qualifies yes, you. Oh, God, help me to get a little further along. Glory be to God. God, eligible ability for mission is one with experience and knowledge for the job. Yes. And that's hallelujah. Man can't teach you. Glory be to God. God's way. God has to teach you. Yes. Then God lives those he called and choose preachers, pastors, uh, missionaries, mm -hmm. evangelists, prophets, teachers. Of, uh, 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 which one I left? Evangelists. He calls them. Yes. But before they go, he qualifies them. Glory be to God. He fills them with this knowledge and makes sure that they're equipped mm -hmm. to do the job. Yes. When God has called and chose and equipped you to do a job, when people walk off from you, you don't backslide. When God called and equipped you to do a mission, you don't walk off because uh, everybody leaving the church. Mm -hmm. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. You stay right there with you. Some things that is necessary in order for one to do, that's why we must have the Holy Ghost to qualify one to be a witness. 
Glory be to God. And then the Bible talks about in this text to the saint, he says establish. Want us to be established. That is to be stable and firm. I notice even in the body of Christ, excuse my English, there's too many wishy-washy. There's too many people say, I love the Lord, but they're wishy-washy. Glory be to God. They're wishy-washy when one say, thus and thus said the Lord. And one over here can say the same thing. They're wishy-washy. We got certain people we believe in. We got certain people we got to get the okay from the same men. Wishy-washy. Unstable. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. We're supposed to be stable and firm in the truth. And you mean we're living in a time where yeah, I'm 44 years in, some may be 54, some may be 34, some, whatever your years are. We ought to be in the word enough to know a lie from the truth. Yes, Glory be to God. Hallelujah. The damage that a lie do. Glory be to God. The separation that a lie. And when we talk about philosophers and philosophy, and men and women, after tradition of men, there are those. I don't know who those are. I don't know who they are. When the Bible says, come out from among them, I don't know who them are, but God does. Mm -hmm. But when he enlighten your eyes to those that are after tradition of men and all about them, and you still will not come out from among them. I did not say hate them. I did not say stop loving them. But you cannot go along with somebody when you find out through the Holy Ghost and truth that that person or person is not of God. Glory be to God. Oh, my God. This kind of teaching and preaching is not supposed to be rejected but by two peoples. The devil and people don't love the Lord. Glory be to God. And the sixth verse, I want to do about two or three more minutes and I'll be through. The sixth verse was encouraging us. Therefore, receive Christ Jesus, the Lord, so walk ye in him. First Thessalonians 4 and 1 tells us that it's all about pleasing God to win soul saints, to get the harvest of Christ Jesus, it's got to be all about God. He talks about again in verse 7, to grow. When he said, root it and build up in him, in Jesus, and establish as ye have been taught, abound there with thanksgiving. I am calling on those that have been taught in Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. I'm calling on those that have been with us and have been taught the gospel, the true holiness. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I'm encouraging us to abound there with thanksgiving. Verse 8 talks about spoil. Glory be to God. And when we talk about spoil, you can think about food. That's why it's not good to, to run a panic mode when disaster weather is taking place, the pandemic took place. I think about all of the people buying up stuff, food, all kinds of food and stuff, and packing the deep freeze, refrigerator, and had to throw all that stuff away because it's spoiled. Mm. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. But I encourage us, if we get a hold to the word, it will not spoil. It may look like God is not answering you, look like God is not going to hear you, but hold on to that word because it will not spoil. And 
to be spoiled, I see it happening too much, even in the body of Christ. Believers that once had values, more values, glory be to God, is being spoiled. More quality is being spoiled through philosophy, through peoples with man wisdom. Peoples are all about themselves, the world, and their relationship to the world, and not all about Jesus Christ. Are you hearing me? And living holy. And I close tonight by encouraging us that there are many that have been sent to witness Jesus Christ, full of the Holy Ghost, that qualify us to be his witness. There was some in the Bible days probably feel like me and some of you, if you feel like you feel like you ain't feeling like you feel like. That because our eyes is on popularity, faith-based preachers preaching powerful message, evangelists, make us feel like I miss God. But I want to encourage you tonight as I close. There are those in the Bible have to be reminded and remember that whom the Lord called, the Lord qualified. Glory be to God. As we follow Jesus' example of holy living, it will fulfill our calling and our responsibility to God and his people. We're called and qualified by God, listeners, tonight, even to the preachers. We're called by God. He qualifies us to follow Jesus' example of holy living. And it will fulfill our calling and our responsibility to God and to his people. Glory be to God. Jesus laid down his life for the people, for the whole world. Glory be to God. And those that he qualified after Pentecost, they may have been coward before Pentecost. They may have been coward following Jesus. But after Pentecost, when God sent them out full of the Holy Ghost, qualified to be his witness, they were willing to die for him. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. They were willing to be hung upside down for him. Because they were qualified. Hallelujah. Moses, according to Exodus chapter 4, verse 10 through 11. It is said that God does not call the qualified. He qualified the one he called. And here Moses saying to God, who am I? What shall I say to Pharaoh? What if he doesn't believe me? And that's where we're at now. Preachers are giving up on God because people don't believe in them. And they're trying things and ways and knowledge to make people approve them. But men can't qualify you to do what God has called you to do. Glory be to God. Moses wanted to know, who am I? Can't speak good. I wouldn't get carried away with people speak elegance of speech. And their word rhyme. When God qualified Paul, Paul came in the midst of a group of peoples. And Paul said to those dignitaries, if you will, those scholars, I didn't come before you with enticing words, nor with wisdom of man, but I come to you under the unction of the Holy Ghost. Glory. We, we, we're almost hearing less and less about the Holy Ghost. We're almost hearing preachers preach, but their text is nothing that includes the Holy Ghost. Very few messages are preached that include repentance, forgiveness. Glory be to God. Moses said, who am I? Who am I? 
can't speak and going to tell Pharaoh what thus said the Lord? What if he don't believe me? Read that in Mo, Exodus 4, 10 and 11. Here, Gideon. Gideon doubted God. Oh, my God, because he wasn't qualified. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. He doubted God in Judges 6, 14. God called him to deliver Israel from the Midianites. All oh, preachers, I wish and hope you can join with me. God has called me to deliver his people from the hook of this world. Jesus. Glory be to God. It's a form of Midianite. It's got a grip on people. Yes, it it's got a grip on their faith. They're believing that God will heal them. Yes. Help me deliver them from the Midianites of this world. Yes, <laughs> so their faith can be turned back to God. Help me, preachers. Yes, Lord. I beg of you, mm. as Paul said, I beseech you yes, Lord. to help me to help God people. Yes, Lord. Glory be to God. Jesus. To deliver Israel from the Midianites, saying, he was the least of the least. Mm. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Sometimes we'll feel like we're the least of the least, Sister Morgan, because we didn't finish high school. Mm. We don't have our degree. We don't speak good English. We're not popular. Mm -hmm. Glory. Very rarely get a hand pray. Very rarely tell something good said. Some people say I'm with you and they're against you. We feel like we're nobody. Yes, we Lord. feel like we're the least of the least. Yes, but I challenge you to rise up, look up, get up, grow up, and go forth in the Lord. Yes, Lord. And turn his people back to God. Mm -hmm. Jonah ran from God. Mm -hmm. When God told him, go warn Nineveh. Oh, thank you, God. Sometimes when God is dealing with me, with message to bring to his people, sometimes I have to say, God, are you sure? Will they hear me or will they turn against me? I hear the voice of the Lord. Glory be to God. Go on down to Nineveh. Glory be to God. And warn them of their sin. According to Jonah 1 and 3. I'm going to close with Jeremiah. Jeremiah argued with God. You'll find it in Jeremiah 1 and 6. I give you nothing less than the truth. Jeremiah argued with God. Call and sin. For I am a child. I encourage the ministers, the deacon, the preacher, the saint. In my early take, grow up. Grow up. <laughs> Grow up. Stop saying I'm a child. Grow up. Glory be to God. Stop saying I'm a child because the marriage ain't happy. Grow up. Stop saying I'm a child because our sons and daughters and grandchildren have not given their life to the Lord. Grow up. Glory be to God. Go on down and in them. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Go on to Israel, mm -hmm. facing the Mennonites. Mm -hmm. Though you can't talk good, the scripture says, open your mouth, mm -hmm. and he'll speak for you. He'll yes. speak through you. Yes, Lord. Glory be to God. The Holy Ghost will put what this say in your mouth at the very hour, Luke 12, verse 11 and 12. God bless you. We thank God for you for listening tonight. I want to ask if she's on. One with wisdom, one that I love, one that when Sister Morgan and I talk to, just inspire us, encourage us. I encourage if she's on, and I acknowledge her, yes. we need to still hear from our elders. We need to hear from those that got wisdom locked up in them yes. that would encourage our heart. None other than Mother Jenkins from Thompson, Georgia. If you're on tonight, Mother Jenkins, will you come and just encourage our heart and then close us out with prayer? If you're on tonight, Mother Jenkins. Uh, <laughs> yes, Bishop, and, 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 and thank you. And, and, and uh, 
I, I heard a lot when the place came on. <clears throat> Was, was talking about love mm. and 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 and, and I, I would like to just say to some of my that what oh I ain't got rich yet. Mm. See, mm. I, 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 I'm one of the richest woman I know, yeah. but, and I want to tell them out there that they ain't rich. Open up the heart and reach out the hand. I know. Oh, and and, and they, they, they inherit some of this wealth, too. What? And then if you don't have a family, make you one. Reach out and grab somebody. Oh, now. Y'all, y'all excuse me. I, I got to quit talking about this thing. Cause <laughs> I can't never talk about it. It, it cause it, it just knocked me out of balance. I start acting ugly. I know. But but then the, the love is the most important thing on the face. Of the earth ain't the strongest bone. Yeah, then yeah, if yeah. you want to be happy, reach out and grab yourself. I know. <laughs> Oh God! <laughs> and, 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 and your heart never get full. Jeez. You know, it, it's, it's always room for some more. Yeah. The, the heart is small, but it's big enough to hold the, the love of the world. I know. My God. <laughs> Don't care how much you in her, there's always some room. Mm. And, 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 excuse me, y'all. That, that's the only, only thing that makes you happy. Mm. You can have all the money, mm. all the stuff in that thing. Mm. But then if you ain't got some Christ and some love in there, you don't have anything, and, 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 and that's all I got to say. I'm got, I'm got to say that because see all the people say, "Hey, to everybody out there." <laughs> oh my goodness! Then let me see how how ugly I am. So I, 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 I'm gonna sit up and and, and y'all thank thank y'all for letting me hear this word. Thank you. God bless you, Mother Jenkins. Oh, my God. I'm acting crazy with you. You're making me act crazy. <laughs> Thank you so oh, much for coming on. Will, will you close us out in prayer? Oh, my goodness. Our Father, Lord, mm. who are in heaven, yes, Jesus. how would be thy holy name? Our Father, Lord, it's, it's, it's this evening, mm. and it is once more again that you spared us and you mm. enabled us, and then you allowed us this opportunity mm. to come to be one more time. And as we come, Lord, we come in the name of Jesus. Yes. Mm. And, and, and we, we, we come thanking you. Yes, For all the many blessings that you have and that you are, mm. are stowing up on the Lord. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you again and again. It's because you're so good to us. Yes, Lord. Teach us how to pray. Mm. Oh, Lord, and what to pray for. Give us praying hearts and give yes. us praying minds. Yes, and a better understanding Woo! how to serve you. Yes. Oh, forgive us for our ministry, and Lord, forgive us for Woo! our wrongdoing. Yes. Forgive us, Lord. Go all along with us, teach us, and guide us the way that you would have us to go. 
Don't leave us alone down here. We need you. Every day of our life. Oh, we can't do nothing without you. Knowing that you got all power Mm. and it's trusted in your own hand. Knowing that you are God and beside thy are no other woman. Mm. And that's why we come. But we come on. Yes, Jesus. And we bow with before thee, asking that you stretch our heart. All that you find. Mm. Like sin, oh Lord, I pray thee to move it. Mm. We are asking for a clean heart. Clean, mm. clean, clean hands. Mm. Love. Mm. That one from heart to heart and from breast to breast. Faith yes. yes. that will not sweat. Oh, yes. have mercy. mercy oh, my, we poor and needed souls. Lead yes. us, Father, but lead us not yes. into temptation. But, Lord, lead us from one good, real grace. Mm. Unto another, where no one, if thou would lead us, that we would be led right. Lead us in the path of righteousness. For thy yes. name's sake, yes. hold us in the heart of your own hand. Throw mm. your strong arms of protection. Yes. So this war can't do us no harm. Yes. Oh, let us go on in your name. Don't leave us by the wayside because we are weak and we don't have any strength. We're Jesus. about you. Mm. And we down here for temptations and confusion and misunderstanding. Mm. And Lord, mm. is hate everywhere. And we bow with before thee. Mm. Ask the Lord strengthen us just so we can be a brother stand. Yes. All love and hard tasks mm. that may come upon our pathway. Strike yes. enough where we are weak and give us up where we've been thrown down. Yes. Yes. Let us go on in your name. Strike enough, Father, so yes. we yes. can be able to endure yes. the, thing, the things that we can't change. Yes. We need you in our hearts and yes. our homes and our days, Uncle Pastor. Lord, we need you. Lead us, guide us, direct in the way you would have us to go. Yes. We down here in this unfriendly world. Yes. Sometimes you know that we misunderstand. <laughs> and then again, you know that we be misunderstood. Yes. Yeah. Father, in the name of Jesus, linking yeah. us together yes. as a length of time. Linking yeah. us together in Jesus' name. And yeah. let us go hand in hand. Yeah. On in your name. Yeah. Have mercy upon us. Sometimes yeah. standing and staring in the space and don't yeah. know what to say. Mm-hmm. What to do of what the way to go. But Lord, here we are mm-hmm. and we bow with before you mm-hmm. and we asking that you show us the way that you would have us to go. And you yes. teach us the thing that you would have us to know. And mm-hmm. prop up every lean inside. Mm-hmm. And Lord just blot out every doubt in our mind. Lord, yes. let us go on in your life. Pop in the name of Jesus, we, mm. we, we come calling. And, Lord, we call in you. And it mm. is because it's no other one to call mm. that would do any good. Yes. We be and be alone. We yes. call in you because we yes. need you down here. Yes. Oh, Father, we need your power. Mm-hmm. And we need you everywhere. We need you in everything. All yes, over yes. these lands and these countries. Right? Everywhere. We need you. And Lord, in a time like this, Father, mm-hmm. have mercy, Jesus. Mercy. In a time like this, yes. we yes. need you. Yes. And we need you like we never needed you. Yes. It's a needed time. Mm-hmm. 
and we can't do nothing without you. Yes. So I need you for one thing. Mm. And Lord, so I need you for another. But Lord, I'm asking you, and mm. it is because you know where they are. Lord, mm. you know what they need. And then you know what they need it for. Have yes. mercy yes. up. Yes. Never yes. the jealous mm. and the unconcerned, the sad mm. and the afflicted one, friends mm. and enemies. Help yes. us, Jesus. Help us yes. to do good unto those that do us evil unto us. Yes. And teach us to love our enemies. Yes. And Lord, remember our children. Yes. That's whenever they may be in the name of Jesus. Take them by their hand and mind. Lord, yes. you lead them and your God. Direct yes. them the way you would have yes. them to go. Yes, yes. Oh, Father, keep them, Lord. Keep them from all hate and harm and all danger, sin and unseen. Mm. Peace them, how we pray. Tell them, Lord, tell them why they on turning ground. Yes, and the one that are sick, Father, mm. in the name of Jesus, you got the medicine. Mm. But whatever is wrong, mm. in the name of Jesus. Yes, and Lord. why we still bow with before thee, mm. Lord, we just want to thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you for your Holy Spirit. Yes, yes, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for your lasting love. Yes, Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. Thank you for your healing power. Healing power. Yes, in the name of Jesus. Mm. And Lord, thank you, thank you for all that thou has done. Yes, Lord. And Lord, thank you for what you still done. Yes, Lord. And, oh, Father, thank you right now, Lord. Right now, right now, thank you for what you're going to do. Oh, in the name of Jesus, we pray. Mm. In your name, Lord. Oh, mm. in your name. Your name. Amen. And thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Mother Thank you, Jake, Lord. and all you. You, you richly you, bless me tonight, as always, when we talk. Yes, Lord. We love you oh. much. I want oh. to thank yes, as Lord. we about get this ready. Love. Yes, oh, love. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. Yes, and, Lord. And you know, yes. I love it because I couldn't have it no other way. Because no I other couldn't way. hate you if I wanted to. <laughs> You got too much love. Well, see, sometimes you you don't want to. Some folks you don't want to love, but you can't help. My God. <laughs> well, thank you, Mother Jenkins. And this the way we are when we do talk with one another. It's just hard to hang up. I want to uh-huh. thank tonight. Will you do this for me? I want everyone that desire when you buzz in. Just say thank God for Mother Jenkins. Yes, Encourage your heart. Yes, Lord. And we'll see you on Sunday in the Sunday service. God bless you. We love you, Mother Jenkins. Thank God for you. Yes, Lord. And thanks for the Lord. Yes. Thank God for Mother Jenkins.